you're all doing super well and I hope you're all having a really good day, a really good morning, afternoon, evening, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a really good day. So I'm super excited to finally be sitting down and filming this for you guys because TMI by the way, I've had a really gross allergic reaction all over my face during the entire week and I obviously couldn't film a makeup look for you guys while that was on my face but it's finally gone and I'm really really excited to finally be filming this. It's going to be a makeup and hair tutorial inspired by Selena Gomez in the video for the song I Want You To Know. I think that's what it's called. It's her song with Zed and by the way, Zed and Selena, Zed Lena, OTP for life. I love them together. And I just love Selena overall, her makeup, her fashion, it's all goals. So I'm really excited to show you guys this look. It's really easy to recreate and I feel like it's a really good look for prom. So if you're looking for prom makeup looks, try this out. And also, if you try this out, make sure to send me pictures on Twitter and on Instagram because I really want to see how you guys recreate this and how your looks turn out. So with all that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I know you guys came here for the makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so Selena's skin is obviously flawless, so I'm starting off with my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, and I'm just applying it with my fingers all over my face and just blending. Up next, I'm using my absolute favorite concealer of all time, and I'm applying that underneath my eyes to hide any dark circles on my lids to even out the color and also right down the center of my face to kind of highlight, and then I used my fingers to blend it all out. So for my bronzer, I'm using Subtly Suntouched by Pixi, and I chose this one because Selena's face was a little bit bronzy, but not too contoured, if that makes sense. So this is perfect for that, and I'm just using a contour brush to apply it to the hollows of my face. But then I grabbed a powder brush, and I blended it out so it didn't look contoured, because like I said, her face was kind of bronzy, but not too harshly contoured. So I'm doing that. So for the blush, I chose a kind of natural peachy pink color because I feel like the eyes definitely did all the talking in this makeup look. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending upwards. And then for my eyebrows, I used my Tarte Brow Mousse as always, and this is in the color Rich Brown. I wanted my eyebrows to look full like Selena's before moving on to eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm grabbing one of my color tattoo eyeshadows by Maybelline, and this is in the color Too Cool. It's kind of just a white base. And I'm using my ring finger to apply that all over my lid and kind of blending it up. Upwards, and this is just going to act as a base for our glitter. Yay, glitter! So, I found this kind of cream glitter eyeshadow at Sally's Beauty Supply, and it's actually kind of really suckish, so I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, I'm just using it as glue, so I'm patting it on my eyelid, and then I'm going to use this Reflex glitter that I found at MAC a really long time ago, but you could probably find a similar product, and I'm just using my fingers to pat that on top of the Cheap Sally's gel, which I'm using as glue. So then I'm doing that on my other eye. Basically just use the glue and then pat the loose glitter on top and that should do it. If you have any fallout because glitter does go everywhere, you can just use a big fluffy powder brush to brush it off. Up next, I'm grabbing some liquid eyeliner and I'm going to make a kind of subtle line as close as possible to my lash line because the glitter is kind of the main focus of this eye look and a crazy cat eye would be too much and we look kind of crazy. So again, a subtle line and then a kind of short cat eye, not too crazy and that's pretty much it for the eyeliner. I also grabbed a little bit and I dragged it along the outer half of my bottom lash line to make my eyes look a little bit bigger but that was basically it for the eyeliner. So to finish off my eye look, as always, I'm applying a few coats of my favorite Their Real Mascara to both my top and bottom lashes. So next for my favorite part of the entire makeup look, I'm using this Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the color Melted Fuchsia. I'm obsessed with how the bright lips kind of pull together the entire look. So moving on to the gorgeous messy updo that Selena has in the video, I'm going to start off by curling my hair and I'm going to be using the Irresistible Me Sapphire 8-in-1 Curling Iron. It has a bunch of different attachable heads, so you can get a bunch of different hairstyles using the same tool. So I'm going to be using one of the thinner barrels because I want pretty tight curls because Selena did have kind of tight curls in the updo. So then I'm dividing my hair into sections and just 
curling, it's pretty self-explanatory. You don't really need to see me do my entire hair. So let's just speed through this and move on to the next step. Okay, so after I was done curling my hair away from my face, I kind of broke the curls apart with my fingers and I sprayed my hair with some volumizing hairspray because I wanted not only volume but also my curls to last. So now for the updo, you're going to need a bunch of bobby pins and you're also going to need a shiny headband of some sort. So I just kind of divided a front section of my hair to frame my face and then I gathered the rest of my hair as if I was going to make a ponytail. But then what I did is I wrapped my hair around itself as if I was making a bun and then I grabbed my bobby pins and started pinning that hair down. It does not have to be neat at all. Actually, it's better if it's kind of messy because it adds to that textured messy vibe that we're going for. And the fact that we curled our hair totally helps to add a bunch of volume here, which is what we're going for. So then I kind of messed it up with my fingers, added a little bit of volume on top, and that's basically it for the updo. Then we're going to be adding our shiny headband, and I actually found this one at Payless, which is actually really strange, but I felt like it was perfect and really similar to the one Selena was wearing in the video. So this is my completed makeup look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun recreating this look. If you guys didn't notice, I'm obsessed with Selena. I just love her so, so much. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can do that down below and it's entirely free. Also in the comments, let me know what your favorite song at the moment is because this is totally my favorite song at the moment, hands down. Also in the comments, let me know if you have any video requests, what videos you want to see next on my channel. I would really, really appreciate that because I love making videos you guys enjoy watching. I think that's everything I have to say. I send a million kisses your way. Mwah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so, so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.